Hello everyone. Today I will introduce you the installation of hemodialysis machine. First, I will introduce you the front of the machine. Front. Touch screen. Assistant pump. Rotator. Red arrow shows the direction of blood flow. Blood pump. Rotator. Red arrow shows the direction of blood flow. Arterial pressure measurement port. Venous pressure measurement port. Liquid level detector. Flow chalk clip. Air bubble detector. Heparin pump. Can be moved up and down. Bar of the heparin. Liquid A suction tube port. Liquid B suction tube port. Liquid A suction tube connector. Liquid B suction tube connector. Supply pipe connector. Liquid return pipe connector. The dialysis supply pipe. Returned dialysis pipe. Introduction of the front is finished. Now I will introduce the back of the machine. Exhaust fan. LED alarming light. Power line. Power switch. Fuse holder. Disinfectant suction inlet. RO water inlet. Vent hole. Waste outlet hole. Ultra filtration sampling port. Back introduction is finished. Now I will introduce the side part of the hemodialysis machine. Adjusting button of liquid level in venous port. Fixing stand of suspension frame. Left side introduction is finished. Now I will introduce the right side of the machine. Power. Right side introduction is finished. Now I will introduce you the installation of alarming light. Installation of the alarming light. Use the cross screw drive to get out the screw. Install the light.
fix the screw. Installation is finished. Now I will introduce you the suspension frame. Suspension frame. Put it inside the stand. Installation is finished. Now I will introduce you the tube connection. A B liquid suction tube. Red is for liquid A, while blue is for liquid B. Plug the suction tube. Installation of liquid suction tube is finished. Now I will introduce you the installation of dialysis supply and return tube. Red is dialysis return tube. Blue is dialysis supply tube. Installation of the liquid tube is finished. Now I will introduce the water inlet and outlet installation. First, installation of the RO water inlet tube. Red is RO water inlet tube. Need two clamps. RO water inlet. Installation is finished. The other side is for collecting the RO water supply port. Need one clamp to fix. Now I will introduce you the waste liquid tube installation. Need one clamp. Fix by one clamp. Installation is finished. Red is RO water inlet tube. Need two clamps. RO water inlet.
installation is finished. The other side is for collecting the RO water supply port. Need one clamp to fix. Now I will introduce you the waste liquid tube installation. Need one clamp. Fix by one clamp. Installation is finished. Now we put the other side into the drainage port. Waste liquid drainage port. We plug the black tube inside the waste liquid drainage port. Installation is finished. Now we connect the power line. Turn on the switch. Install the dialyzer holder. Turning on the machine after making sure all the tubes are connected well. Turn on the machine by lump pressing the button. The machine will enter the self-test automatically after turning on. Now it is self-test. It will take around 5 minutes for self-test. Put liquid A and B suction tube inside the container. Now it is rinsing the dialyzer. Now it is priming status. Install the dialyzer. Now I will introduce the arterial tube installation. Connect the arterial tube with dialyzer.
arterial port. Pump tube installation. The installation of tube should follow the direction of blood flow. Open the pump tube. Fix it. Arterial tube installation is finished. Now I will introduce the venous tube installation. Blue is venous tube. Dialyzer connector. Venous port. Connect it with the bottom of dialyzer. Install the venous port. Install the tube. Cover it. This is the venous port sensor. Install the venous port sensor. Open the clap. Liquid supply connection. Liquid return connection. Installation of dialyzer and tube are finished.